Let's see if we can open this up here and discover any problems where the uh, main conductors here, leaving the uh, transformer tie back to the actual uh, windings. You can see I've got this cut back now and got the uh, primary leads exposed. Not to say I haven't already done some damage here and cut the magnet wire, but uh, you can see I'm still reading open. Let me uh, go ahead and saturate the uh, solder locations here with some flux and uh, grab some solder and uh, let's just reheat these and see if we get any change whatsoever. Okay, no change, and you can see this lead here lift. Let's see if we've actually got the uh, magnet wire actually making contact here. Again, I may have uh, cut that trying to get in here, so uh, it may not be the uh, problem point. Let's see if we can find the uh, needle in the haystack here, because I have no uh, magnet wire attached here to this lead. Let's see if we can uh, dig it out here. No luck here exposing anything. I did see a, a broken piece of magnet wire uh, that went down through here. So uh, I'm going to take this uh, transformer apart real quick and see if I can uh, maybe get a couple layers off and uh, find the uh, connection points here. All right, there we have it. Not much to this uh, transformer. Let me see if I can uh, unwrap some of this and uh, find anything worth salvaging. Here yeah, we're starting to uh, get down into the uh, windings themselves. Alright, you guys can see the uh, secondary leads here are wound on the outside and the inner core itself would be the uh, primary. I did find one of the primary leads right here if that's uh, showing up possibly on camera you guys can see that. And I'm going to poke around here for a few more minutes before I give up and see if I can uh, uncover the other primary winding where it comes through. You guys can see the rotation here, and I'm going to just count the uh, number of turns and go ahead and unwind the uh, secondary and get it out of the way and see if I can uh, still dig up the uh, primary winding. Looks like 18 turns down to the uh, bottom from the top, and then uh, we start back the opposite direction. And the second layer, an additional 18. Okay folks, no luck here. Again, I exposed this one end. I can't find the other. Then I uh, tried to get in here and make some DC resistance measurements here on the uh, bottom side of the uh, transformer. So um, I'll just go ahead and look for a replacement or rewind the uh, transformer, create a new one. One of the two. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut into this and uh, I'll probably do some additional damage of course to the windings so uh, let me go ahead and finish destroying the uh, what's left of the output transformer here and uh, see if I can get in here and uncover 
anything with these windings. Just one last try here. Oh, look what I found. Now if I can only uh, solder some uh, new leads on here successfully, I may be in good shape. A lot of uh, digging around. 476 uh, ohms there. Let's see if this is showing up on camera. Just more digging and I've got the uh, lead exposed there. And then on the back side here for the uh, innermost uh, winding right here. Alright, uh, here we have it. I've got it uh, soldered in place. Uh, both leads, not sure how long this solution will uh, hold up. But uh, let me go ahead and see if I can get the uh, secondary winding back on there as well. Still rewinding that secondary. Final touches here, putting a little more uh, gaffer tape on the uh, outside of the uh, primary winding, and then I'm going to recheck DC resistance here to make sure it's still good. After uh, making the repair to the output transformer, you can see I'm measuring the impedance now on my uh, little peak meter, and I'm just under uh, 5,000 ohms in total, so uh, that's going to be a good match for the uh, power output tube. So that's uh, great news, and you may be able to hear the audio emanating from the speaker so slightly. Let me uh, hook up my uh, audio signal uh, generator here, and uh, let's just drive a signal through here. Alright, let's go ahead and power up the uh, audio signal generator here. Generate a uh, tone. Okay, that's a great sign here. It was uh, pretty cool to be able to make the repairs there on that um, output transformer. Up next, I'll go ahead and spend some time and get in here and get these uh, few caps replaced here around the uh, tube socket here. Check that one resistor and uh, clean up the uh, solder two locations there for the output transformer before remounting that. Need to still check the uh, IF transformers as well, and then I'll get in here and do the recapping if they're good on the uh, remaining capacitors and check these remaining resistors as well. We'll do some tube testing. And again, I want to make sure, as I alluded to, the IFs are in uh, good shape. They're not open. And uh, we'll apply some uh, power to this little unit and uh, see if we can bring it up here for the first time probably in many years. Appreciate you guys uh, watching the repair here on the uh, output transformer on this little portable airline receiver back from the late 1940s. Take care.